I found in this world, young people don't worry about the future. Older people worry for the future. Don't worry about the future. All right. Don't worry about technology. Uh, let me tell you one thing. When you worry about the future, that is because you are lack of confidence. You lack of imagination. We don't have. I may not have the solution for future, but there is a solution for future. We don't have the solution for future, but our young people have the solution for future. I find in this world, young people don't worry about the future. Older people worry for the future. I find those six, today successful people, they worry about the future. Let me tell you, future is the opportunity for everybody. Especially the opportunity for young people, because we have nothing to lose, right? This is what I tell myself 18 years ago. 18 years ago, we did not have money, so we can we have no money to lose. We don't have technology. We have no technology to lose. And then we say, we believe 10, 20 years later, e-commerce, internet will be powerful if we start to do now. When a lot of success people, successful people, don't like technology, don't like internet, we start to do it. Ten, twenty years later, we will be the expert. Ten, twenty years later, we'll be successful. So I think, don't worry about the future. Prepare for the future. Make your own future. Cloud computing, big data, artificial intelligence. They are new to anybody. You are successful, new to you. You are not successful, new to you. So what do you worry about? Second thing is don't worry about the things the other people worry about. Especially don't worry about the things president and prime minister worry about. Worry about things you worry about. We everybody have too many things to worry about. If you do not worry about yourself, you worry too much about the world. Now today, Alibaba should worry about the world. You should not worry about the world. <laughs> President Putin is worry about the world. You should not worry about the world. You should worry about when you graduate. How can you make a living? How can you do something that is different? How can you do something that is fun? Interesting and helping others. By the way, don't believe that technology is going to take away human beings' jobs. Technology is going to replace a lot of stupid jobs. When the first technology revolution come, the steam machine come. People worry, oh my God, steam machine is going to take away a lot of jobs. After 50 years. The steam machine created more jobs. When electricity comes, a lot of companies worry about losing jobs. But electricity created so many jobs. Artificial intelligence, they will create more jobs. The problem is next 20, 30 years may lose create lose a lot of jobs. But this is short period, so we people have to learn how we can survive in the artificial intelligence period. By the way, why human being can win machines? Machines, they might be stronger than human being. They might be smarter than human being. They might be run faster than human being. But they can never be as wise. As human beings, because human being, we have belief, we have religion, we have a heart, which machine does not have. So, if you want to be ready for future, please do not follow yesterday's way of learning and teaching. 
Do not try to memory things hard and more, because computer can remember things hard and more than you. Do not try to calculate faster, because computer can calculate much faster than you do. So try to be creative. Try to be innovative. Try to be constructive. These are the things. Everything you learn, you think about. Is this thing can make me more creative? If this thing can be more, make me more innovative, if this thing can be make me more constructive, let's do it. And also, I think when other people worry, opportunity comes. Make them worry. You should know nobody will and nobody can stop this technology revolution. You worry, it comes. You don't worry, it comes. So what's the point of worry? So I said, people said, Jack, have you ever cried in the past 18 years doing e-business, internet in China? I don't cry because I know cry does not make any sense. Does not help me. If cry can help me, I will cry every day. We should not cry. We should make competitors cry. So, think about, it. be positive. Get ready for that. And young people are the solutions for tomorrow. Young people are the solutions for all the worries. And young people, if you stay with them, you will be full of energy. But the advice I give to the young people is that also the advice I give to myself that nothing is easy, nothing is free. If you want to be successful, you have to pay the price. Alibaba, 18 years to today's size. Yeah, we are lucky, but we. Work much harder than most of the people. We never sleep well and sound in the evening. I travel last year 867 hours a year in the flip plane. In the plane, I'm working hard. My team working very hard. 18 years we work like a normal company. 70 years. Day and night, nothing is free. Nothing is easy. Easy means you have to think different. You have to do different. If you, everybody, if John said this is right, you follow John. Why you? So you have to think. For example, early days in my company. When some ideas come to my desk, Jack, this is a great idea. And I look at everybody. Everybody say it is a good idea. I normally throw into the rubbish because everybody say this is good. Then all the other people think of. If everybody say this is going to be very tough, I'm very interested in that tough question. And I pick up and say, how can we do it in a different way? This is to be unique, to be different. And third, this is my advice, and this is also I'm telling myself every day. Today is very tough. Tomorrow is more tougher. The day after tomorrow is beautiful, but most people die tomorrow evening. You have to work very hard. Every tough days, every tough situations, problems you meet. That is the training of yourself. When you graduate your school, graduate from the school, you just start your career of learning. When you got a PhD diploma or bachelor diploma, this is just a certificate your parents pay the tuition for four years. Your real challenge is when you leave the college. 
the real life stats, the real exam stats, the real test stats. That's life.